Once the rebar's geometry is set, Revit then automatically assigns constraints to the rebar so that it moves and flexes appropriately responds to changes that occur in the model. These constraints are designed specifically for rebar and are different than standard Revit lock dimensions. This feature improves the existing rules for rebar placement. It gives us a custom way to have a better control on how rebars are placed in a concrete formwork. This enables reinforcements to be updated correctly based on any calculated changes and helps keep designs coordinated and accurate. There is a new type of annotation tool called a multi-rebar annotation. This tool is located on the annotation tab on the tag panel. You can choose between aligned and linear multi-rebar annotation. Thanks to these options, now you can annotate multiple rebar and rebar sets with a single tag. You can use these annotations to tag each bar in the rebar sets with detailed fabrication and construction information. This functionality gives greater support of concrete reinforcement documentation. In this release, you have greater control over the physical geometry location of structural framing elements. These features are available to steel beams and braces. Now you can adjust position of a structural element along Y and Z axis in its local coordinate system based on additional cross-section characteristic points. You can increase or decrease the length of geometry of an element from the end of the location line based on new additional parameters. Start and extension, start and join catback. Also, now you can visualize a location line of selected element as well as you can define independent elements and justification and offsetting. This extends the modeling capabilities within Revit to become a framework for still detailed modeling. In this release, you can use the Switch Join Order tool on the Modify tab to revise or reunify the order in which elements, such as structural floors and beams, join with each other. First, you must select Switch Join Order and then select each element whose join order is to be revised. To switch the join order of multiple elements with a single element, you must select multiple switch on the option bar before selecting the element. This feature improves concrete design by more accurately presentation of joints of concrete elements. The Structure Analysis and Co-Checking Toolkit for Autodesk Revit software is a suite of tools that supports the building information modeling process and allows structure engineers to analyze and check their structure from within the Revit environment. It can be downloaded from the Autodesk Exchange Apps website for free. Using this toolkit, structure designers and engineers can optimize their workflows in the cloud and on the desktop by using the analytical model built in Autodesk Revit to conduct cloud-based structure analysis with access to Autodesk 360 services and by extending the Revit model to Autodesk Robust Structure Analysis Professional Software or supported third-party analysis solutions. Once complete, analysis results can be easily stored and explored in the Revit environment. Structural results storage and results exploration tools delivered by the toolkit enable users to explore and document results so they could gain knowledge on structure's behavior, have insight into consolidated and detailed results to take appropriate design decisions as well as properly document it. Using the toolkit, structure engineers can also verify and design structural elements according to local building codes and regulations, which can be easily and quickly implemented by using the code checking framework. The goal of the new structural code checking platform feature is to give Revit users the ability to perform a code checking process inside a native Revit model. The results of the code checking add-ins may be delivered in a form of structural results, visualized in a form of diagrams and maps, calculation notes, and model and documentation updates. 
This toolkit extends the structural workflow in the Revit environment. And that concludes the presentation on what's new in Autodesk Revit 2014. Thank you.